Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you could join me today. Today I was going to show you how to make these adorable sock gnomes. I thought with St. Patrick's Day this weekend that we would use this theme to create this cute little guy. So the supplies that you're going to need for this is a sock. For this one, I just I used one of these little glitter hats that I found at Dollar Tree. Rice, piece of nylon stocking, some cotton balls, some little rubber bands, faux fur, and of course our glue stick, glue gun. Okay, so when I do this, I usually use between two and two and a half cups of rice. The more rice you use, the bigger the body is going to get. So this one is not all that big with this little sport sock. So I think I used about two cups for him. So we're just going to pour this in. And the more you push it down, the rounder his body is going to get. So that's one cup right there. Up again. These are just so cute. No matter what you do with them, I like to use the fuzzy socks to make these. And I have not found a person yet who does not smile when they look at one of these. So it's a cute gift, it's for all ages. People have told me they use them as doorstops, put them on their dashboard, in their car, on their desk. They pick it up during a very stressful time at work and just play with it a little bit. It's just a cute little novelty. So I put exactly two cups in him. I'm going to tie him off with this little rubber band. Okay, so for the nose, I use two cotton balls. I have a piece of nylon stocking here that I wrap it in. Make sure that it's covered. just does not want to work with me today. Oh, sometimes they do give me a little bit of a problem. And sometimes they go in really simple. There we go. And again, a rubber band. a little tail on this. And then what I do is I tuck it. You could glue it on there too, but I just tuck it under here. And now we have his nose. His body and his nose. He's starting to get a little personality here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our faux fur it comes like this. This is how I buy it. You get a whole piece of it, and you'll find this in the craft aisles at Michael's or Dillon Fabrics. And I use an X-Acto knife on the back, and I just rub it, rub the knife down, and cut it that way. I don't use scissors because I want it to be fluffy when I put it on. So I'm going to glue his ears on next. V in there. We want to put this as far up as we can. There we go. That's how he's looking so far. And then we have his hat. And I found that if you glue inside the hat, 
and we're going to stick it on. this in a little bit and we'll put a little bit of glue on his nose just to make sure that it stays put. Okay, and we're going to glue inside this hat just around the rim. I'm going to just turn them upside down for a little bit. I'm going to let them set. And I have these little coins you can decorate with anything. I've used feathers, I use flowers for girls, I use little um, buttons, I use all kinds of things. nice and tight. I'm going to fluff up his beard a little bit. He is looking pretty good. He's ready for St. Patrick's Day. And then we're going to glue this little coin onto his hat. I have one last thing that I do on some of them, not all of them. I use a little bit of blush, give their little nose some color, especially if it's in the winter and it's cold out. They look like they're a little bit chilly. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a colored nose here. Okay, he is ready for St. Patrick's Day, so that's it, it's very, very simple. I also have a little girl here that I made to go along with the boys. This one I used two socks for, one on the bottom, one on the top, I just pulled it over the body. I put some glue around it so it would stay and she's ready to go. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you'll give this a try. You can use any kind of socks, any kind of decorations you want for almost any holiday. So I wish you all a good day today and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.